Howdy folks, I have another short clean water systems instructional video today on the 5900 valve. There's the front of the 5900. We're going to open up the back so that we can install our 9 volt battery so we have a backup battery. Uh, what you're going to need is a quarter inch nut driver. Uh, it is also a, uh, a regular, not a Phillips head, but a regular flathead screwdriver, but a quarter inch driver is, uh, goes a little bit faster anyway. And there's only two screws, and you can see where I'm unscrewing them. You just gotta look there and find them. There's one on each side. And... Each of the screws out. I always like using that as the tray for my screws. This is where the battery is going to go. And the most important thing, the first thing is find the terminal leads, kick the terminal leads up over to the upper right hand corner. Keep them out of your way and hold them like that. Take the battery, take the edge of the battery, and you're going to push it open. But what you really have to do is you have to turn the battery as you get it open. And then when you get it all the way in, it only sticks in halfway. You got plenty of distance on this thing, you got plenty of room there, it only sticks on halfway. And then you go ahead and connect the terminals. And then you go ahead and put the cover back on and screw the cover back on. The most important part of the operation, as you can see, is putting the two terminals up in the upper corner to keep them out of the way of the metal clip that's holding the battery in when you expand it. And then the other important part is you're going to use the battery to be turning the two clips to get them to open wide enough to get it in there. Okay, that's how you install a battery. Thank you very much.